Hello, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Very excited to have Trish back on the channel. Several years ago, we featured Trish and she gave us a tour of a DDU. Today, she's gonna give us a tour of a tiny house that she made that she calls a micro house. Hello and welcome to New Jersey Outdoor Adventures. Hi Patrick, thanks for coming out. I appreciate it very much. Yeah, welcome to my micro house. I like to call it salsa box. And I built this on a, it was a homemade trailer made with a lot of recycled materials. So the dimensions are nine feet in the back, eight feet in the front. It's a seven by 12 foot trailer. So welcome to the tiny house I'd like to show you. So that's everything I need. I'm an artist. So I really thought about building this around be making art on the road or where I intended it, you know, in little spots. So here's a nice kitchen counter. I just made the sink where it's mobile. You can move it out of the way. I just dumped the clean water because I use, um, you know, uh, green, green detergents and things. And under here is a jackery where I power everything. Uh, it was professional. I had a friend, Ben, who did all the electric for me. He's an electrician. And so that's powered the lights, which switch on. There we go. And off. I got little fans. And I got a foot pump here. This is a boat foot pump. And I really like this because I can really control the amount of water that I'm going to use to do my dishes. And I just use a five gallon water tank here. And I have a little refrigerator, like a little college fridge. And the windows I f uh, found brand new on Facebook Marketplace. Anderson windows on both sides, which were really nice. So I have, um, I made these little shelves and most of the materials on the inside is recycled from something like the, the, the pallets. It's all pallet wood on the walls and there's some shiplap on the bottom parts. And I found some shelves at Goodwill. Uh, the laminate flooring is left over from my daughter's house. So they just bought a house, so they gave me some extra flooring. And the bunk here is about 44 inches wide. And it's not a twin, it's not a double, but it's wide enough for two people. And then uh, here's the, this ladder to go up into the bunk. It's really sturdy. And then the table here, I made it so it will go down and turn into another set of a bunk here and with plenty of storage space. I mean, it's really deep. I think it's about two feet deep by uh, four feet wide. And of course I put storage on both sides and there's a lot of storage there. And then we have, I've included a 25 gallon water tank, which gets hooked up uh, outside so I can fill it without moving it. And then I have this little table here. Uh, it's still not fit, not complete, but there's a, a leg that's going to go down and I have more room to do my drawings and paintings. And then I have these wheel wells. Now these, to change the tire, I would just pop this off and I can change the tire from the inside because the tires are indented into the frame. And then this cute little cabinet. And my brother's 78 years old and he helped me build this whole thing together, we did. So, uh, he built this little cabinet for me, which is adorable. And then we have a full shower. The door is still musty. And I got a, a portable toilet. And, uh, and then we have the great Camp Lux hot water heater. And that's not really attached there. Uh, permanently because we can you put it outside and then just connect it to a propane tank and then this cabinet I wanted to really feel like home so I brought this cabinet from home I've had it for a while and it's attached just by a couple screws so it's not going anywhere these two I found things like this at Goodwill and that's attached it's not going anywhere and it makes it feel like home and this cool little thing is I forget the name of it but it's a little air conditioner you put ice cubes and water in there 
And it really keeps it nice and cool in here. And it's really a hot day. I really love this part of the bench. Here, this is my little porch. And it's got tail lights, and they work. A uh, plug that, you know, if you want outside power, you can just plug this in and it attaches to the jackery on the inside. And the legs have come down to the stabilizers. There's brand new tires down there with um, new rotors and uh, yeah, the whole new tires. This is shiplap and I double primed it with a waterproof sealer and a waterproof paint. And of course the garage. And this just holds stuff, you know, enough. And this is a, I put, I put on the trailer a brand new master cylinder with with brakes, a, br a new brake line. And even though this uh, house is not really for long travels, it's really meant for to be, you know, stable it's in a nice property. Uh, it runs smooth on the ground. And this, I forget the name of this thing, but if this is to bring it up and down when you're ready to move it. And the roof has uh, fiberglass, double, double, uh, and um, it's this liquid paint that's rubber, rubber proofing. And this, of course, is where you fill up the water tank from the inside. Thank you very much for giving us a quick tour of your tiny house that you built. I seen this on Facebook Marketplace for sale and it was only $10,000. It seems like the amount of time and design that it took to build this thing, it's worth more than that. Well, I appreciate that. Uh, my intention was to travel around the country during the winter time and get out of Jersey. But I really didn't think, um, this is the first time I've ever built something, building something like this and it's much too heavy to be traveling. But it is a beautiful home to sit. It could be, a, you know, a little pool house it could be a little Airbnb in back of somebody's yard, and it certainly could be like a um, hunting cabin or something like that. That or a she shed or a zen den, right? Anything. Oh, zen den. I like that one. So, but my idea is to sell it, and then I'll get a lightweight so I can do some traveling. Now, talking about the first time you built something like this, is there any tips that you could give our viewers that would help them if they're looking to build a little tiny home themselves? Uh, yeah, plan it out well. Uh, I, I really thought about the layout for a long time. I did study other YouTubers who were building left and right, you know, and they are great help. Like putting this whole thing on carriage bolts, what bolts to use, what, what uh, hoses or tubes, whatever tools that I needed, really do the homework. And I think most of all, make sure that your truck can pull it <laughs> because my my uh my suv is just uh, not strong enough so you got to take those things into consideration and where are you going to put it that's, that's a big always one. a key now we talked off camera about the fact that you reinforced the frame so it could hold this trailer yes and also about towing it you had to go maybe at a lower speed because these yeah. are meant to go like out in the highway. Some people yeah. do. It's meant <laughs> to be moved around within a close proximity. So essentially you could do with a smaller vehicle if you're only going a slow speed. Yeah, I did. I did 35 down Route 70 from Asbury Park to Tom's River. There you go. You made and it. That's a quite a distance. It is. And a lot of people were beeping and waving and they thought that was the coolest thing, especially coming through the neighborhood. Now, does this thing have a title? Is it registered? How does that work? I have a court ordered a title because it was a handmade trailer. I had to go through the court. New Jersey takes a little bit of a while. So I have a court order of ownership and I'm waiting for the title and VIN number. And that's good that you mentioned also a place to put it because you, not every house or what if you're at a HOA, you can't just bring a tiny home and put it in your backyard. That's right. That's right. So that's important to know where you're going to put it. Thankfully, I have my daughter here and her husband. They let me put it here and I'll have it here until I sell it. I know it will sell very quickly. I know you can be getting a lot of activity on Facebook Marketplace. I'll make yeah. sure I put a link to the ad if it's still for sale by the time this video airs. Well, this is Patrick from New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. We'll see you soon. Thank you.